Welcome everybody. Today I'm going to be taking a look at Rosa Linux, which is an RPM distribution based off of the Mandriva Mandrake project, one of those two. And so you can find out more information at rosalab.com. They have a few different versions. They've got a, a KDE version. Uh, let's see what the else they say over here on DistroWatch. Go over to their page. So yeah, GNOME, KDE, LXDE version. At this point, I'm going to assume that the GNOME version is GNOME Shell, although I haven't tried it out. So you can see I'm using Firefox here. So they have their own custom uh, uh, icon theme sets. Let's take a quick look around some of the more interesting and basic items. So you have uh, some custom folders, icons. These look like they're... Uh, based off of another icon family. But the design is mostly flat, mostly uh, simple, clean. It doesn't have that generic khaki feel that some LXDE distributions do. And definitely the buttons in the menus look a lot more modern. Uh, no hard, uh, rough edges or rough 90 degree angles uh, as far as like having, say, a one or two pixel border around some buttons. So a lot of things are just, uh, you click over them and the buttons essentially appears. So it's a nice, uh, pleasing design theme. Let's see here. We've got a control center. So this uh, serves as basically shortcuts to all different um, settings for the distribution. Set up your keyboard and I'll go over and enter the keyboard application, which I imagine is under preferences anyway. Okay, that gave me a slightly different um, setup, but let's see if I could find something. Set up your video card monitor, X server. So this this definitely serves as making it a little bit easier for a new user. Set it up. your open box. I'm wondering if it's possible to get the uh, opacity off of the um, the backgrounds here. When you have several windows open, it can be a little distracting. Um, huh, but whatever. No problem. Let's see, what else do we got? Under accessories, we have the install and remove software. I I um, think I probably would have put that under system tools, but wh whatever. It is, after all, an accessory, and this is uh, based off of... Let's find out here. Oops. RPM Drake. Okay. Do a quick search for something. Oh, pretty responsive, though. Very simple. Let me see if I can find Scribus. There it is. Yeah, so plenty of uh, uh, programs available through their repositories. LibreOffice Calc. Wow, that started really fast. LibreOffice Writer. Amazing. Wish my Windows PC at work was this quick. FileZilla. Wow. This is some pretty good theming. Most of the uh, applications, FileZilla is a pretty ugly application so it actually uh, grabbed in some of the information from from the theming nice nice what else we got here sound and video programs this is running on pulse audio uh, VLC media player is pre-installed looks like they took off the Christmas hat after the New Year's and you know that's that's pretty mi pretty much it even though it's about a 1, 1 1.2, I can't remember the exact size that I, for downloading this distribution, it's rather large, I, I thought. But, um, you know, it looks like there's a lot of things behind the scene to uh, make this look pretty modern, even though it's running off of uh, an LXDE interface. It feels much more modern than Ubuntu. Feels a little bit more modern than, say, um, uh, some of the other LXDE-based environments. 
although there is no wobbly windows, there's no snapping, it, there is obviously a compositor working in the background. So um, anyway, if you guys are looking for an alternative for an LXDE environment, maybe you're running on some old hardware, um, this one's definitely a good one to take a look. And uh, if, especially if you, you were a fan of Mandriva and Mandrake when those were around. Uh, Rosa Linux is pretty good. I've tested out the KDE version, and that's, that's pretty good in, in, um, implementation. It's probably an old screenshot. Uh, nice large icons, very clean. Maybe a little bit too big. It kind of reminds me of Gnome Shell in that sense. But uh, definitely, uh, eh. uh, as far as Linux distributions go, pretty well designed. I, ha I have to admit, it's, it's, it's themed from application to application to a point where it's, it's clean, it's not random. Things look like they belong together, and that's always a good sign when you're working with a uh, Linux distribution. So anyway, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next video. Take it easy.